Hey everybody, I take Hillbilly here. So I've been messing with these photo scans using the drone to create these maps, these fairly realistic 3D modeling maps of the property. I've been trying a few different application platforms. First was WebODM, which is an open source software. I actually paid for the pro version of that. Um, just for simplicity as far as getting it installed, it was a real, it was kind of a pain. And uh, I didn't want to have to spin up another Linux VM. And I was hoping that the pro version would work better than the Linux version, but it didn't seem to do that. The only difference is uh, the Linux version, it doesn't run on a VM, it runs natively on Linux. So if you have a Linux operating system, uh, it's much smoother, uses fewer resources. But if you run it on Windows, it uses a Docker engine, which is kind of like VMware, to run virtual machines inside of your Windows operating system. And Docker is unstable. It's extremely unstable and it's a real pain it's always wanting to update and if you don't update it certain ways often even if you update it perfectly it doesn't run right the application web ODM won't run right and you have to reinstall everything so I'm frustrated with that so I've been trying out this Metashape which used to be called um, Photoscan by a company called Agisoft and I've tried it few other programs but I want to go over some of the benefits of what I've seen in this guy here and I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the outcome now on the old models let me show you here so over here we have standard 3d model and tiled models let me go here and just double click standard 3d model this is the standard 3d model that that it creates it's pretty clunky on my video card I have a fairly high-end video card but it still has problem navigating this if you see these little tiles up here these are photos that were taken and it shows the direction that the gimbal was facing when it took those photos and if you notice here buildings the textures and all that it's not real high quality it looks very cartoony and really rough now if I go here and actually if I go to look at the tiled model let me double click there the tiled model is much well it's actually much smoother on the video card and it's much more refined and you can see the details some of the details in the trees the house it's just much more pleasant and realistic to look at I mean you can even see little piles of sticks here if we go over here now there are some anomalies that have occurred such as the shed doesn't look quite right and some of the sides of the house look a little off but outside of that it looks really good now let me show you even Mitchell's had a little fire back here that he built a little fire pit Oops. and there it is and then we have miscellaneous stuff here we have manure piles but look at this it even scanned behind the barn when I flew the drone, I flew a few circles around the barn, facing the barn. Let me scroll out so you can see all these photos. It took, how many photos was this? It was uh, 491 photos for this run. And I think it did a pretty good job. What do y'all think? Now the chicken coops look a little funky. The woodshed looks pretty good. And this little trailer here, somebody else's trailer is on the property. But if you scroll, that actually looks, whoops, that actually looks really good. 
Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I don't want to get y'all sick looking at all this. Isn't that interesting? That is pretty cool. And these are the types of results that I'm trying to get. Now you can see some of these other anomalies over here with the way the house looks. But for the most part, it looks really good. Much improved over my previous results, even in the same software. Now, that said, there are some things about this stuff that I do not like. And number one is it takes forever. It can take days to render a single model on a 20 acre property like this. I've got a, a, I've got a job that I've been running and it's on another computer and it's been running for three days and it still has two more days left and I don't think I'm gonna get any better results than this we'll see but I'm not sure anyway so there's some other platforms out there that I'm gonna try out and hopefully I can get even better results I think if I tweak this platform I'll get better results than this and if I take more pictures I can definitely load them in and process those as well I think what I need to do is, if I'm going to be doing much of this stuff, it's going to require a server um, with multiple processors and a ton of RAM, like maybe 128 gigs of RAM or more, maybe 256, I don't know yet. But right now, I've got two i7 processors. 32 gigs, of, well, they one of them got 20 gigs, the other one has 32 gigs of RAM. This machine that I'm showing you this on has 32 gigs of RAM. And it's just not enough horsepower. You can configure this application to use your GPU or your graphics card um, to process, and it takes the load off your CPU. But I haven't seen any much improvement using that as far as speed. Now, it does take a huge load off your CPU, but it doesn't really speed up the process for processing. I don't know. There are also markers that you can use. I haven't delved too much into that, but you can grab markers and then place them on this map or on the pictures and calculate them so basically I can put them on the map or I can put markers on the ground when I take pictures and then make sure that those are locked and you can actually make a real detailed survey map of the area and I don't know that sounds like something that I'd be interested in doing that's for sure but anyway, tell me what y'all think. Is this getting any better? If it is, is this something that y'all would be interested in getting something like this delivered? Now let me show you this also. One more thing. We've got a few different things. If you look over here on the left hand side, there's a few things that I've created here. We've got the cameras, those are the pictures basically. And oh, we've got some that are out of alignment. I've already realigned all those cameras, but let's try these depth maps here. Not doing anything. Let's go back down here to the DEM. So here's a photo, shows the, basically the terrain Now a lot of these little humps here are bushes that it's scanned, but this is really neat, I think. Let's see over here. There's another thing that I haven't been able to replicate in this one that I was able to do in um, Web ODM, and that was to create different terrain maps, and it even had an infrared map for um, scanning your vegetation this I have not seen that but 
you look how closely and this is um, low resolution I could actually reprocess this without using scaled down pictures at, and use the original high resolution uh, 20 megapixel pictures and I would actually get a better result but this is still better than Google Maps this is way better than Google Maps and if I were to bring in Google Maps can I do that here I don't even know if I can I think I can overlay Google Maps onto this or this on top of Google Maps Google or Google Earth and uh, just like you can with ODM and you can see you know what the satellite picture is versus what this picture is but I really really like this this is helping us with this garden here we've actually got some posts up since we took these pictures but this is an area that we've cleared we've got some a burn pile here to clear out we've got some major stumps to clear out We've got one, two, three. There's a stump in here. There's a couple of stumps in here that we need to clear out. That'll take a lot of work, a lot of tractor work, a lot of a lot of digging. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about all this. I'm definitely interested to hear what y'all have to say. And uh, hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. High Tech Hillbilly out.